Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today we're looking at this 1999 Ford Expedition with a 4.6 liter engine in it. All the components or parts being shown in this video will have links in the description to buy them if needed. We're going to start out with the PCV valve real fast right here on the passenger side valve cover. Really easy to replace and get to. Very important to maintain properly as well. Over here on the driver's side you're going to find the EVAP emissions vapor purge solenoid and the service port for the EVAP system. The service port's that little green knob that you'll find on the purge box itself. Here's going to be the EGR system. There's a lot to this system. It's not just EGR valve. First, you're going to start off with a vacuum switching valve. This is how the computer gives the EGR vacuum. Looking from the bottom up, the EGR valve right here on the firewall, between the firewall and the intake, and the DPFE. This is how the computer knows that the EGR valve is actually functioning. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share while you're watching too. And don't forget to link the links in the description to buy all the parts that are shown in this video. Right here, looking through the engine. Sorry, the wheel well. You're gonna find the bank to sensor one oxygen sensor. Doesn't look like it'd be the easiest to replace, but I've seen a lot harder. And I believe those are gonna be 22 millimeter open end wrenches to get those oxygen sensors off too. Over here on the passenger side, you're gonna find the bank one oxygen sensors. The bank one sensor one is really hard to see. It's up right off the exhaust manifold. Look at it up here. It's right there in that circle. That's pretty high up there, right off the exhaust manifold. Like I said, bank one sensor one. Bank two sensor two is right next to the transmission. I get a good view. There we are, right here next to the transmission in the heat shield right there. That's on the passenger side. Now looking on the driver's side, you have your bank two sensor two oxygen sensor in a heat shield as well. And that's pretty much gonna do you on this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. And comment below if you would like or if this video helped you. I will see you on the next hopefully helpful video.